today about the number of embryos to be considered for transfer so how do we decide is like one thing definitely we will discuss with the couple like how many embryos to transfer that will be decided upon the age of the women how many years of like childlessness was there and uh, how many IVF failures before or else any IVF done before or is it the first time and the grade of embryos what is the stage of embryos for transfer so we transfer either a day 3 embryos or a day 5 embryos beyond this some variations can occur at places but common is day 3 and day 5 day 3 we call as cleavage stage day 5 we call as a blastocyst so when the woman is less than 37 years of age that means young with no like uh, problems before much and then no previous IVF failures then you can consider two cleavage good stage embryos for transfer or a single blastocyst transfer the aim of doing this embryo transfer is to minimize the rate of twin pregnancies which has got its own complications so normally with IVF when you increase the number of transfers around 20 to 30 percent might become twins and if you're considering more number of embryos it might become more so to minimize the complications as well as to ensure a well a healthy child and a safer pregnancy aim is to make a singleton pregnancy in which cases now my pre transfer control but if the woman is more than 37 years of age because of the aneuploidy in the eggs egg order quality changes so genetically chromosomal changes implantation comes down so in such cases when you're transferring a cleavage stage embryos three embryos to be considered for transfer and if it is a blastocyst good grade you can consider two blastocysts for transfer so this will ensure a pregnancy rate with a i mean with a standard success rate which we quote as around 40 to 50 percentage and then with a minimizing the twin pregnancy rate and its complications so that's how we decide for the embryo transfer so before having a transfer you can discuss all these factors with your consultants and decide thank you